yeah! Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back and MPM meets WEW because it's time for Multi Pack Mania on Wild Eye Week. <laughs> Welcome back to day two of Wild Eye Week, and it's also Monday, which means it's time for Multi-Pack Mania. This week's theme was Pick a Pack. We could choose any multi-pack from our collection, randomly select a movie from it, watch it, and review it. And because it's Wild Eye Week, I obviously went with this Wild Eye releasing four-pack. I'm also using a bit of a loophole here this week because I've already reviewed three of the four movies on this pack, which leaves only one option, Apostle of Dracula. Therefore, the movie has already been selected for me. Apostle of Dracula is a 2012 horror film, directed by Emilio Shagorotsky. Apparently, he self-funded the film, and it was shot on location in Spain. More on that later, though. Apostle of Dracula was inspired by Bram Stoker's Dracula, as well as The Spirits of the Dead, a poem by Edgar Allan Poe. Lucy, the main character of the film, recites the poem throughout. The movie also features characters from the classic Dracula story. Dracula himself, of course, Van Helsing, Seward, and Renfield. While out at a club, Lucy meets a man who turns out to be Dracula, and the two have a passionate love affair. She awakens with amnesia and fades in and out of consciousness, reality, and the dream world. Dracula calls out to her, and she longs to be with him again. She then realizes that two men have been following her ever since that night. It's Van Helsing and Seward. They intend on trying to save her soul, but it may be too late. Lucy is being drawn closer and closer to Dracula. She dreams of being in his castle. Or is she really there? Dracula wants Lucy to be his princess. And as her thirst for blood becomes more insatiable, so does her love for him. It all leads up to a final confrontation of good versus evil when Van Helsing faces off with Dracula. For a self-funded, low-budget film, Apostle of Dracula was beautifully shot. The location is gorgeous, and the filmmakers take every advantage of it. Apostle of Dracula oozes with atmosphere. The local streets, both the interior and distant shots of Dracula's castle, the mist, and there are some truly inspired visuals with the immaculate use of lighting and shadows. The film is dubbed in English from its original Spanish language. That makes it sort of difficult to critique the performances since dialogue delivery is a big part of acting. For me though, for the most part, dubbing usually adds an extra layer of entertainment. Whether dubbing is good or bad in a movie, it's fun to listen to. I specifically like Dracula's dubbed voice in this. It's menacing. There is nudity in Apostle of Dracula, as there should be, and this includes some full frontal. And the movie captures the feel of the classic Dracula mythos. If you're a fan of that sort of thing, I highly recommend this one. Apostle of Dracula really impressed me. Shout out to Wild Eye for releasing it. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And don't forget to check back tomorrow for another Wild Eye review on Wild Eye Week. As for Multi-Pack Mania, next week is Thanksgiving, so let's do multiple cases for multiple courses. Choose a multi-pack from your collection with multiple cases. So, for example, something like the Wild Eye Pack I used today would not work because this is just one case. However, there are plenty of multi-packs that come in multiple cases. 
whether they be slimline cases or multiple regular cases in an outer box. Even a slip case will work. It just has to be a multi-pack from your collection with multiple cases. After you choose one, use some method to randomly select a movie from it. Watch it, review it, and upload your video no earlier than next Monday. Multiple cases for multiple courses. The multi-pack mania theme for Thanksgiving week. Thanks for watching guys. Have fun. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.